This question was actually asked in the 2016 Oxford entrance exam. Let's see if we know enough math to get into Oxford. Here's what the question says. An irregular hexagon with all its sides of equal length is placed inside a square with side length one unit. What is the length of one of the hexagon sides? So is there a hexagon inside the square? Yes, it's the one we've drawn here in thick blue lines. And we're being asked to find the length of one of its sides. Let's say the length of side EF is X. That means FB is also X, and since all the sides are equal, every side of the hexagon is X units long. Now take a look at this red triangle. DE is X units long. That means the remaining part of side EA must be 1 minus X. And for side AF, it's also 1 minus X. Now, let's apply the Pythagorean theorem. We get 1 minus x squared plus 1 minus x squared equals x squared. When you expand and simplify this equation so that everything is on one side, you get x squared minus 4x plus 2 equals 0. Now we have a quadratic equation, but its solutions are not integers. So we need to look at the discriminant. What was the quadratic formula? Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. In this case, a is 1, b is negative 4, and c is 2. Plugging in those values, we find the two roots of the equation, 2 plus square root of 2 and 2 minus square root of 2. Now, which one is the correct answer? It can't be 2 plus square root of 2, because one side of the square is just one unit long, so x can't be greater than 1. That means the correct answer is 2 minus square root of 2. Well, that wasn't too hard. If only we weren't too old, Maybe we could have gotten into Oxford ourselves. Anyway, I hope you make it in. See you in the next video.